put a bit of chili in there as well. My mom gonna go beat you up, Gordon. Scrape, scrape, scrape with metal spoon. Today we're gonna be seeing how Gordon Ramsay makes his ramen. I've been wanting to see this video for a while now, and well, we'll see how well he does. If you are new to the channel, my name is James. I have plenty of other recipes on my YouTube channel. Ramen, not yet, so one day we will have to make that. And I would like to start actually testing some of these recipes that we have been reviewing. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, then let me know down below which ones you would like me to react or to test first. Now, let's get started. Hello, niece and nephew. New neon sign, it Uncle Roger rice cooker. What you think? What you think? Leave comment. Let Uncle Roger know what you think of my neon light. Underneath the neon light. Wait, before we even start, why Gordon looks so shiny? What is this Madam Tussauds bullshit? Photoshop can do some amazing things. Also, if any of you didn't get that little joke with Uncle Roger, Madam Tussauds used to be an actual person and it's also the name of a famous wax museum in London, or in fact, they have several locations. And I think he said this because the photo of Gordon here doesn't look very real. Right, come on, let's be honest. Ramen is that comfort food that we all love, especially on a cold day. But today, trust me, I'm gonna show you how to elevate that notoriously cheap dish into something delicious. And guess what? Give me a V. That's right, vegetarian. Right, what? what? come in. Gordon, making vegetarian food? Gordon, I thought you hate vegetarian. I'm allergic to vegetarians. Oh, I, I come out in a rash. <laughs> Why you make vegetarian food now, Gordon? Why you bow down to those people? What the point of having all those knives back there if you're vegetarian? What are you gonna use that cleaver for? Bok choy? This is gonna be interesting because normally Gordon doesn't make vegetarian recipes. Well, he does have vegetarian recipes. Obviously, you always have a couple of vegetarian recipes on the menu and your restaurant and whatnot, but specifically actually make a vegetarian recipe for a video. Let me know down below guys if you think this is going to be better than Jamie's ramen, Nick DiGiovanni's, and well hopefully it will be better than Angela Lawson's because that one, I think that was the worst. It wasn't even really ramen, it was just basically instant ramen that she added noodles to and some other little bits and pieces. So if you haven't seen those videos, then be sure to check those videos out after seeing this one as well. And guess what? Give me a V. But give me a V is actually good pickup line. Niece and nephew, go to bar, find woman you like, and tell her to give you a V. Sorry, children. Right, come in, Oscar. Let me show you the ingredients. Uh, egg noodles, uh, delicious. Egg, uh, egg noodle. Uh oh, Uncle Gordon already make mistake. Egg noodle, wrong noodle. Ramen should use wheat alkaline noodle. This not starting well. I'm expecting Ramsey to do a good job, so let's keep our fingers crossed because. He has experience. And the noodles, they may not be perfect, but they're still not as bad as soba noodles. But, um, well, let's see. Three, three and a half minutes. Uh, beautiful seaweed, scallion. Seaweed, good. Tofu. Scallion, tofu, Ginger. correct. Ginger, good. Cauliflower. And these, Col these are the secret ingredient. These are cauliflower. The dried shiitake mushrooms. Cauliflower can be a great substitute for meat if you want to make this vegetarian or vegan. You can do a lot of things with cauliflower. It has good texture. Let's see how he integrates this into this dish. Dried shiitake mushrooms. They're going to go into shiitake, the good. And they're going to rehydrate. Right, let's have 10 minutes on the clock. So, wait, ramen take at least 10 hours. He making in 10 minutes. I don't think this is gonna go well. Keep watching, see if Uncle Roger correct. I don't know if any of you realize, but every time Uncle Roger has said this, the videos tend to turn out to be like really bad. Get them on a spoon and drop them into that water, okay? Please, time me six minutes. Six minutes, correct. Bring it out to the boil. Some say when you add vinegar to the water for soft boiled or hard boiled eggs that it does help to actually peel the eggs. And we also add vinegar to the water when we're poaching eggs. If we have to poach a lot of eggs, normally what we do is we get a big bowl, we add so many eggs to the bowl, and then we add a certain amount of vinegar first to allow the vinegar to start coagulating the egg whites. Bring it out to the bowl. Boil them gently, and I want to boil that with a little bit of silver yolky bit in the middle. Mushroom Good soft boil. Into the water immediately, okay? In. Mushroom in water. Sort of go up a level. Okay, I hope he making tare and not just whacking everything in pan. Uh, I hope so too. But I think he added the mushrooms to the water to help rehydrate them because they are dehydrated. Then again, Gordon only has three pots and pans on the burners, so he may be throwing everything in the same pot. Turn the gas up. 
Okay, and now we're going to start creating that base. First off, a tablespoon of miso paste. No, no, you don't. Don't put miso paste in your boiling water. It's gonna kill the miso. You want to make miso, make miso tare separately. Hiya, this is the same mistake Nigella Lawson made in her ramen. Gordon, you make miso sad. Uncle Roger is right. You don't want to boil the you know what out of the miso paste because you lose the flavor. You lose a lot of the benefits of adding it in the first place. But Jamie did the same thing in his video before making his uh, broth and then cooked it for four hours on top of that. Okay, and give that a really good mix. Now those mushrooms are doubling in size. Ah, okay. oh, doubling in size, just like Auntie Helen after our marriage. And the exciting thing now is that they're starting to give flavor to that water. Wait. Just one tablespoon miso in that big pot water. What? Yeah. What the point? Not gonna taste like anything. This just husky hit of miso. That not enough? A husky hit of miso. From there. Oh, you don't. A nice tablespoon of soy. Oh, now you just whacking random shit in okay. boiling water. This video seems to be turning into the carbonara fiasco that we reviewed with uh, Vincenzo. Then again, this is supposed to be a 10 minute ramen. And if you're gonna be doing that, I would say get a pack of instant ramen and just make it. It's not the healthiest, it's not the best, but it'll be quicker and easier than what this looks like is turning into. Tablespoon of soy. Oh, now you're just whacking random shit in boiling water. Touch a mirror. Okay, that gives it a little bit of lift and a bit of a bite. If there are any ramen chefs watching, can you please comment on the addition of mirin? And correct me if I'm wrong, but mirin is a sweet rice wine, similar to sake, but it has a lower alcohol content and a higher sugar content. And because of that, you do need to be a little more careful so you don't burn it. One of my favorites, Togarashi spice, a beautiful Japanese pepper in. Lightly season it with the chili flakes. Why? Chili flake and tokarashi pepper, same thing. You're wasting money and wasting time. Get your egg noodles in. Okay. Uh oh. And then from. No, no, don't put your egg. Ugh. Wrong noodle, first of all. And don't put your noodle in the broth. You should cook separately. The broth need time to extract flavor out of ingredient. You put noodle in broth for that long, it's gonna be soggy and dead in the end. Hiya. Gordon, every step wrong so far. What happening? What happening? I do have to say though that Ramsey is adding the soba noodles, well not the soba noodles, the egg noodles to the little broth that he's making to save time instead of having to put another pot of water on. So he's cutting some corners, or he's cutting a lot of corners to make this. The gas, okay? That's right, turn off the gas. Now, give that a good mix. Taste that broth. Why taste for what? Shit in water for two minutes. Where got taste? You're just tasting soy sauce in water. Two minutes, not long enough for anything. Trust me, Uncle Roger, no? Mm, that's delicious. Touch more salt. Okay, for me. And then a little bit of salt. And look, the seaweed. Seaweed now? I just cut up. No, no, no. What he doing? What he doing? Oh my God. Seaweed into boiling water. What you doing? doing Gordon seaweed in broth I'm just gonna disintegrate into the water hiya you killing me Gordon and you killing the seaweed uncle Roger have to put my leg down from chair already Gordon you fucked up seaweed supposed to go in ramen last thing right before you eat like go watch uncle Roger make ramen video See how it's done. We haven't seen his first ramen video. We should see that. Now what Gordon is doing here is he is making the dashi, the broth, and he's making the tari all in one. He's not making it separately. He's to save time and everything. The thing is, if you add the kombu or the seaweed too early and you boil the you know what out of it, it can make it bitter. And it looks like he's using nori here, which is a thinner seaweed. Kombu is a lot thicker. This is a recipe that normally takes hours to make, only being made in less than 10 minutes. So you can't expect that much. Nice, long, sort of almost strips like julienne. No. Every minute, this broth is getting better, tastier, and deeper. It's it getting to... wronger. Is that what it's getting? Vegetables. And then just taste again. Good. Now it's nearly there. Nearly where? Hell, that where? 
I like to know when he's going to start cooking the cauliflower because the cauliflower itself, depending on how thick you cut it, can take quite a bit of time to cook. Again, depending on how thick you cut it. Tofu. Just literally. Tofu, okay, because vegetarian. Beautiful strands. Not my first choice, but okay. And just place that on top. Wait, tofu straight into, pro what? what? In vegetarian ramen, tofu replace the pork belly. So you need to marinate the tofu first. Don't just serve raw tofu. It just tastes like bean. Marinade. Oscar, please pan down. Have a quick look. Apparently, Ramsey's going to be marinating the tofu in the little broth that he's making. It could have been more so. He could have added the box tofu that Jamie added in his egg fried rice a very wet tofu, and he could have just smashed it up like he did as well, and he didn't. He, he cut it, so it's not that bad. Nice. Hey, uh, it's like this smorgasbord of delicious ingredients. That look just like miso soup. Where got ramen? Don't look like ramen at all. If your ramen look like miso soup, you fucked up. Delicious ingredients, and... Man, that's good. That's so good. Man, that's good. He keep tasting, and he keep lying. Take your sesame oil and just... Sesame oil, hiya. I think that's gonna be the only aroma oil he used. Sure, the gas is off. I want a touch more spice in there for me. Just a touch. Now, if any of you wonder why Ramsey is hopping around so much, being a little jumpy, it happens when working in a very busy kitchen and you can develop this habit quite easily. And especially when you're cooking against a timer or you have like a set time to cook everything in or to do things, you can get a little antsy. I mean, it does look like you may have ants in your pants, but that's not the case. Let it simmer. The gap is just, he just, this ramen, this not jazz, you don't just improvise. Ugh. Gas is off, okay. Eggs are boiling. Time, please. Right, three minutes okay. down. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Now, this gives it a bit of texture to the ramen. It's a great way. I guess for vegetarian ramen, cauliflower, okay. These bits here, just cut round there, slice those bits nice and thin. And these stalks are so delicious. Stock, stock delicious. Stock is worst part of vegetable. Uncle Roger don't like vegetable. Vegetable tastes like sad. But if Uncle Roger have to eat vegetable, I eat the leaf. Because stock tastes as shit as leaf, but harder to chew. Stock is the same shit food, but more effort. Who want that? Obviously, Uncle Roger hasn't tried artichokes because the best part of the artichoke is the heart. And if it is big enough, you can also eat the center of the stock. Now, Ramsey does look like he's going to make a few different things with the cauliflower. You can make a lot with the cauliflower. If you grate the cauliflower like Ramsey's doing, you can actually fry it and give it a very nice texture. And if you save the stalks as well as the uh, florets, you can actually make a very nice puree. Well, you can make a few different purees. You can make a white puree if you don't brown or darken the cauliflower at all. Or if you actually saute the cauliflower for a decent amount of time, you can make a very nice hazelnut cauliflower puree. I like the stalks on a broccoli. Beautiful ramen and put those stalks in there. Take your cauliflower. He's well, still going on about okay. cauliflower. Lightly season it, dust that with some rice flour. Crunch, <laughs> cauliflower. So when we fry, I want some chili in there, so I've got some heat, okay? And then look, a nice little shallow fly. Hot pan, get the oil in. Nice crispy texture that sits on top of those noodles. Five minutes down. Is this ramen weijo or is this cauliflower with side of shit noodle weijo? He spent 30 seconds making ramen broth and three hours making cauliflower. Hiya. All this time, meanwhile, the noodle in that pot just drowning. Again, I love frying in a non-stick pan because I get that texture. I really get it nice and Non-stick, you just say non-stick and then you use metal spoon. Cannot use metal spoon in non-stick garden. Hiya. Why like this today? What wrong with you? It looked like you care more about getting your shirt to match the cabinet than making good food. 
think Gordon is using his signature pans. I think that's what they are. And you supposedly can use metal because of the way that they're designed. You're not scratching the Teflon. I've never used them, so I don't know. I can't say for sure if they're good, if they're not. Now, Teflon was a miracle invention when it was first created because it was nonstick. However, at that time, there were chemicals in the making of the Teflon process that were not the best for you. And today, companies have tried to switch to more non-toxic ways of creating Teflon and they work, but still, you know, it's a personal choice of whether or not you want to use it. Look at the color of that cauliflower. Beautiful. Now it's going golden brown. His shirt does actually match the color of the wall. Can we go back to ramen now, please? That I want, get a little slice of kitchen towel, get that ready. I uh, colander and cauliflower together. This video have all of Uncle Roger nightmare. As that gets really nice and crispy. I put a bit of chili in there as well. My mom gonna go beat you up, Gordon. Scrape, scrape, scrape with metal spoon. Got some wonderful spring onions. Okay, spring onion, good, oh, finally. We are done with cauliflower. Longer on the bias. Gordon is rushing because he is cutting the green onions too thick, like way too thick. Because imagine getting a piece of green onion this big. It's not very nice unless you like green onions, raw green onions too. So I go sideways this time. Mm, sideways. Uncle Roger likes sideways also. And the sort of white parts, again, I'm just gonna sprinkle in. Oh, you sprinkle into broth. Spring onion in ramen broth, okay. But you're not gonna have enough time to get the flavor out 10 minutes. One more final taste. And look at it in there. Oscar, come in, come in, pan down, pan down, pan down. No, please. don't tell Oscar to pan down. Uncle Roger want you to put your pan down. Stop cooking. Mm. That is so delicious. Oh, man. Now, eggs, take them out. Always like to sort of put them into cold water first. Okay, correct. Egg in ice bath, correct. Right. Using an ice bath is the best way to cool the eggs down quickly. If you don't have ice, then you need to run them under some cold running water for a few minutes, and that can also help bring the temperature down so you can peel them. Is it oh, that ramen looks so dead and lifeless. 90 seconds. It's so weird serving in this Le Creuset saucepan. Hiya, Gordon. Just buy ramen bowl. You cannot afford ramen bowl, is it? Your daughter on Strictly Come Dancing. Ask her to lend you some money. Buy some ramen bowl. Tilly, help your old guy out. Go. To be fully honest, that little cast iron pan that he's using costs a heck of a lot more than a ramen bowl. Pickled ginger, my scallions, spring onions. And then look, this beautiful, nice, crispy cauliflower on top. I think this video, Gordon, sponsored by Cauliflower Company. He spent so much time talking about it. Now with the eggs, tap, tap, tap. Pull, 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 and then just put it in your top of your hand. <laughs> Don't blow egg. This is not a hygienic technique that you can do in a normal kitchen. Like seriously, imagine having like 100, 200 eggs to peel and you're blowing in each one and you're sick. Not the best thing. And that from there, literally, should come off super quick and it is. Okay, the egg peeling quite probably. I give you that. Runny, yolky, and then look. Yolk, correct. It look good, but you need to marinate your egg, Gordon. Look at this egg. It whiter than Jamie Oliver. Yeah. Who want to eat? Oh, just from there. Just literally. Snip, snip, snip. What is it? That is not. Fresh cilantro, coriander. No, no. <laughs> Coriander on rum. You don't just... Ooh. Just because a dish Asian doesn't mean you can just put coriander on it. Some ramen chef put coriander or cilantro in ramen, but not like that. Doesn't matter what country you're in, it's all delicious. And there we are. Well, ramen in 10 minutes. And if you noticed, Ramsey was rushing the entire time and he's a professional. So if it took him a little bit of effort to try to make this in only 10 minutes, you can only imagine what it may take you if you don't have a lot of skill in the kitchen. What the f... Uncle Roger can't watch anymore. The broth all wrong. No tare. Barely any aroma oil. Wrong type of noodle. Ugh. 
I know this is supposed to be quick 10 minute ramen, but if you want ramen in 10 minutes, just make instant ramen. Even that better than this? Or go to ramen restaurant. Get ramen in 10 minutes. Easy. Gordon, your egg fried rice so good. Why your ramen so bad? Uncle Roger cannot call you Uncle Gordon anymore. I need to take back that title. Gordon, you're supposed to be one of the good ones. Why you join Dark Side? <sighs> to all of you, thank you for watching Ramsey in 10. If I went too quick, I Oh, he changed shirt. Slow it down. Now, don't forget to pick up Ramsey in 10 cookbook inspired by this. He got cookbook. And trust me, you're gonna come out a much better chef. You gonna teach all wrong recipe, is it? You know, I was actually looking forward to watching this to see how Ramsey would maybe put his spin on a classic Roman dish. And I honestly thought throughout the video that it was turning into more of a troll video. It's like Jamie Oliver's book in like 10 minutes or 15 minute recipes. Sometimes, yeah, it can take that if somebody has a lot of skill making it, but most of the time it's going to take you a lot longer. If there are any ramen chefs watching, then let me know on your thoughts on how to improve this. And guys, remember to let me know your thoughts on which recipes we should test to review. Maybe some of the ones that we've already seen or some other ones that we haven't even reviewed yet. Be sure to check out this next video coming up here. And I will see you guys again very soon. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, take care.